I want to do it. Seriously, I want to do one take so I can get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So go. Action. Go. Hey. Hi, I'm Bob. I'm Carrie. And this is 25 Plus Life. And this is the moment that we've been waiting for. We are finally getting ready to take off. My excitement. Very excited. <laughs> like permagrin. Uh, we've been waiting and waiting patiently like everybody else. And finally, we are just mere hours away from taking off and heading down south somewhere warmer, somewhere cooler, somewhere more exciting. And continue on our road with our 25th wedding anniversary in one month. So, <laughs> I was going to say before it's 26. So one of the questions we keep being asked is, what was the first things you guys did when you got your Winnebago? And... Where, where, what things did you like? What things did you, you not like? And what did you do? Right? Right. Okay. So we're going to run down some of our favorites uh, on the inside. I'm only going to cover the inside today. Um, basically what we've done to make it more customized, make it more to our liking um, and more comfortable, a little more homey. Not homey like word, not but homey. homey. No, not homely either. <laughs> Just made it homey. So at any rate, first things first, let's talk this. Uh, stock mattress, you've heard me complain about this before in the in this thing. Sucked. It sucked. We slept on it one night and we were done in, in the dumpster. When, uh, what we replaced it with, it's kind of hard to notice, but we have a 10 inch memory foam mattress. Uh, these things are awesome. They come to your house rolled up in a bag, in a box. You cut the box open, take the bag out, you cut the bag open, and poof, it self inflates. And let me tell you, with 10 inches of memory foam, this boy is going to be comfy. I don't know about you, but I'm going to be comfy. It's all that matters. And it's all that matters. <laughs> so basically, yeah, that, in a nutshell, that was probably the biggest thing that we accomplished right away. Um, and then we moved on. Yeah, and what did we do after that? After that, we kind of. Uh, We'll kind of slide over here and we'll show you what we've done oh, yeah. as we remove the dinette. Okay, I'm back. So as you can tell, this, our slide out, used to be a dinette. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was funny because we sat down and when we first started uh, looking into this and when we brought this home, we sat down and had a video about um, just things that have changed in our story and whatnot. And one of the things we talked about was, ironically, within a year, the dinette would be gone. Well, uh, in we a... We were going to try it out on our, on our maiden voyage. Yep. Yeah. And uh, then COVID happened. And... Uh, and then we went, yes, see you later. So we decided we had some more time. And, <laughs> and out went the dinette. Yep. Um, and in came this uh, awesome, awesome reclining sofa from uh, RecPro. Uh, it was a little under a thousand bucks. There's a video on this here. Uh, worth every single penny. Um, it's a full recline, wall hugging unit. Um, it's great. Does it recline? It does recline. Do it. I'm not going to do it because I don't think anybody wants to see that. Do it. No, no. So at any rate, uh, <laughs> we'll leave that there. So this is again one, one of the big upgrades for us because this is where we're at in life. Um, the dinette was kind of uncomfortable and we have laptops and iPads. We can work that way. So yeah, definitely. Good investment, very well worth it. Uh, and then from there, um, we get into my favorite part, electronics. Because why not? I know nothing about those. Just make it. So this is my favorite part of, uh, of what we've done here. And one of the first things that uh, after we sat down and we we're like, uh, what are we going to do? All right, rains, whatever. You wanna, or you just have some downtime, want to watch some TV. Uh, first thing we did was take a look at the little uh, TV that was in there. I can't remember what brand it was. Insignia, maybe, which I believe is like a Best Buy house brand. Horrible. Horrible. Uh, lacked inputs, lacked um, everything. And it was fixed to the wall. So you couldn't move it. Um, so you could really only see it from the dinette, or in our case, the sofa now. If you wanted to watch it in bed, you couldn't. Forget about it. So one of the first things I had done was I, I purchased an LG TV. And you're going to be like, but Bob. That's not an LG TV, that's a Vizio. And I'm going to tell you something, friends, you're absolutely right. Purchase an LG TV, it was a 14 volt, we we're going to do it uh, that way. And it didn't work out for, for whatever reason, I didn't like it. 
Um, I had this Vizio laying around. This had been in our home gym for quite a while and kids had all used it and uh, we had taken it down. Uh, it was just hanging out. So I said, well, what the heck, I'm going to try it. So as you can see with this, we put it on a articulating arm and we have it so now we can swivel out. Uh, the TV itself quality is way better. Uh, picture quality, sound quality, um, definitely worth the time that it took. The arm was a big, big uh, difference in that. So, and the only other thing I did was I back fed this into the stereo so that we can have extra, I won't call it surround sound, but amplified sound through the, uh, through the stereo system. And it, it makes a world of difference as far as uh, everything else goes. And then from there, uh, we did our speakers. So one of the things that we did after that was upgrading the sound. And, and sound quality in, in a space like this is kind of important and for us, which is funny because we went from being people that didn't like any of this. Uh, we weren't here to have microwaves and TVs and whatever to, hey, wait a minute, we have all this stuff. It's pretty cool. So the first things I did was I ripped out the stock speakers because, again, they're probably just like the mattress, or like one of my two top things I can't stand about this uh, setup. I love Winnebago to death. I can't say that enough, but geez, come on guys. Sound. We want to be able to hear this. Um, so we upgraded these. Worth every time, worth the time. Quick video on that. You can check that all out. Um, definitely worth the time. So this is Bob's favorite room. It is. Definitely. Yeah, see. So we put up a towel bar. You gotta have two two spaces for the towels. We're gonna show that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Obviously, Bob's portrait is here, medicine cabinet. So if you can see me in the mirror, you're welcome. Uh, this was a big thing for us because <laughs> it did not come with a medicine cabinet. Well, and I think that's... did, but it looked like a little... Oh, the dinky thing. It yeah, looked I like call a, it a medicine cabinet. Almost like a little safe type thing. And uh, yeah, mirror. you can go ahead and open that up. You sure? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's some, you know, deodorant, toilet paper. Bob's. And poopery. Uh, we'll, th we'll do a video on that maybe sometime. <laughs> All right. And then from there, ah. bring you into our shower. Our scrubbies. Your scrubbies. And then this is really cool. Your shampoo, conditioner, shower gel. Yep. All this available on Amazon. We don't have affiliate links. Um, if you need to know, we'll tell you. Niagara Low Flow Shower Head. Yep. The Niagara Low Flow Shower Head. Um, Ooh. Everybody here goes with Oxygenics, uh, we hear all the time. We started hearing a lot of problems with the Oxygenics, so we skipped that and went with Niagara. We have that in our home and it's been fantastic and very cost prohibitive. It's pretty to look at. And that's the bathroom. And then the best space ever. I can't see. So, so peekaboo. So if you watched one of our last videos, we took out the bunks. Because you're probably like, well, wait a minute, you guys had bunks. What happened to the bunks? They're gone. Completely gone. Um, because the bunks weren't practical for us and we converted the space into... The best place in the Winnebago. Storage. Storage. Lots and what's, of storage. One of the things that the, the Winnebago was sorely lacking was storage space. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to, uh, because it is a tight fit here, trying to get both of us in here, I am going to cut out for a second. Storage. From Lowe's, the only thing we didn't take into consideration was, well, the length of it because of the wheel well on the bottom. So we had to bump it up a little bit, which is really great because now we can put shoes, extra soda, whatever have you down bottom. That said, we have towels, just extra tools, lots of tools and just extra stuff for the overflow. And another one of Bob's favorite, storage for the fishing poles. And our paper bags. So all in all, it became a big storage room, which is great. So they are pretty much in a nutshell is, is some of the, the interior stuff that we have some other stuff that we don't really want to get into at the moment uh, or show or whatever surprises. Love surprises. Um, we upgraded our battery banks. I'll, I'll talk about that real quick. Um, we put in three uh, AGMs. 
and a 4,000 watt power inverter, um, as well as we have a backup generator so that if we need to have some power, we have that. Um, solar is something we're looking into, not really a priority for us at this moment. Um, again, I'll do some exterior stuff on another video perhaps. Um, one of the things I'm actually really proud of is this. Every RVer should have one. Every RVer probably does have one. And you'll notice, blank slate. So this is where I ask you guys, how do you do this? So there's a couple of different thoughts on this. Is every state that we drive through gets a sticker? Or is it every state that you sleep in that gets a sticker? So you guys, speak up. Let us know in the comments. Every state that you have a Winnebago. No? Or does it, yeah, or is it just you, or does the Winnebago have to be there? Well, so yeah, if we drive to Alabama and we head over to uh, Mississippi, oh. to have, since we've been there, does it get a Mississippi sticker? Or is it only where the camper's gone? So again, chime in, let us know. Maybe you guys can hmm. solve this argument for us. Uh, let us know in the comments. Um, I'm kind of interested. The Winnebago has to be there. And then I got to finally do this. Final thing I'd like to discuss real quick is our name. Uh, this is when we first started this journey, right? We had asked on Facebook, uh, one of the forums there, uh, a name for our travel trip. And some people had said, oh, it, you, it, you can't ask for people's advice. It needs to come, whatever. Look, we're grown adults. You can pick the name. You can have the name given to you, whatever. Somebody had mentioned a combination of the Micro Mini and our last name, and we now christen the Mini Selly. It's actually pretty cool. So hopefully some of this stuff uh, interests you. If not, I'm sorry. Uh, we just wanted to try to get some of the questions that we get asked a lot answered. Mm -hmm. um, quite sure there's some stuff we're missing. Yep. What's that? Oh, we'll think of it after. We'll think of it after. <laughs> so, yeah, if you can, uh, hopefully you liked it. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, we're really excited. We should be hitching up pretty shortly and hitting the road and seeing what kind of adventures await. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. That's all we got to say. It's scary. It is scary. It Interesting. It is nerve-wracking. We've talked about this for, like, since, God, since before we started having kids. And like, well, what will happen when the kids are grown? What are we going to do? What are we going to And now, now it's here. It's real. And it's really, it's scary almost. And it is funny because I wake up every morning and I look at my wife and I tell her how many days before oh we leave. Oh my gosh. And I have a panic attack. Like I can't breathe. And I hadn't had that panic <laughs> attack until now we're in very low numbers. Um, as far as, you know, we're leaving in a couple of days. This is it. We're leaving. This is it. There's no turning back. We're hitting the road. We're nomadic for X amount of time. And everything yep. is on the line. Yep. That's that. So you can share our quirkiness of our journey. <laughs> Please <laughs> because do. Because it will be because that's who we are. <laughs> we should have some really cool stuff coming up. Yeah. Some state park reviews. Uh, some live streams that I want to yeah. do from the road. Once I get Where all do you the... want to go? Uh, uh, we're going to go to Bucky's. <laughs> I thought you were going to do it. We're going to go to Bucky's. <laughs> I have a whole Bucky's voice. Uh, we'll save that. I promise you, it is not a Bob the Wolf thing. It is legitimately, we're going to go to Bucky's. And we'll take it from there. Uh, I'm, I'm cutting this here. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far, if you could, please give us a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments what we're doing right, what we're doing wrong, um, how awesome my beard is. Um, whatever you want to do. And uh, we will see you, uh, I guess, as, uh, as the one man says, on the road. <laughs> hey, friends. Bob from 25 Plus Life here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. This way here, we know you care. Thank you.